about the roofs of homes, and he's specifically talking about Texas and these wildfires. Listen. Because a lot of, if you fly over these areas that are burned to the ground, you'll see in the midst of 20 homes that are just totally destroyed, one home sitting there because it had the right roof on it. And anyway, since I took office, FEMA's provided Texas alone. Oh. It's like he knows he's like he went off script for a moment, you know? Yeah. He's like, he like looked over and then he went back to his teleprompter, you know? Um, so they had the right roofs on it. What, what roof is right for a fire? What roof is correct? For a, for a fire in Texas right now that could have prevented this. Well, a lot of people... Blue roof, Alex? Yeah, maybe a blue roof. In fact, people in the panhandle, these are Google Trends results this afternoon from the panhandle. These are people searching, like, who live in Texas. They're looking in their search term, directed energy weapons. Or Amarillo and El Paso area surging uh, search results for directed energy weapons. Energy is the topic and directed energy weapons. And then, of course, they even search more deeply and they're looking at blue roofs as one of their search terms as well. And blue, the color blue. Like, okay. And so you're seeing, and look, and, and also I'm curious, Minnesota was on here as one of the top spots for these searches right now, which I found it very interesting. So keep your eye on Minnesota. Like, is something about to happen in Minnesota? That why so many people are concerned about directed energy weapons in Minnesota? Did I miss something? Is there something happening in Minnesota that I should know about over the past 24 hours? I couldn't find anything, but they're certainly looking for it. Of course, many people have said directed energy weapons were to blame for this. Of course, I have no evidence of that. 